Welcome back to another video, ladies and gentlemen, on the 2007 RM85 build. This is not the 2016, if you want to see the 2016 one that I just finished. Uh, first ride video is probably out by now, but you can go check that out. It should be somewhere down in our channel. We got the bike stripped down to literally bear everything. We're going to pressure wash everything in there, clean out the air box because that thing's dirty. Uh, I can tell how there's it's so grimy in there. Those bearings don't look too bad. We'll still, I'll still take them apart, probably grease them up, do something with that. But today's video, uh, maybe I'll clean out the forks. We'll see. Because this one leaks, but it doesn't look like it's been leaking for too long. It's got a little bit in there. So yeah, just take off that fork seal, clean it up real nice. And we'll see. We'll probably put the bike back together today. Or not today, during this video. Right here, we got the engine in a box. Uh, you can see piston is fine, rings are fine. Crank is fine. What is bad is the main bearings in there. I've got those already coming in. They should be coming in like two days. If you look at the cylinder head, looks fine. No major scoring, nothing. Can't catch anything with a nail, so that should be fine. The cylinder head, looks pretty clean. Not too much carbon build up, build up. And yeah, everything else is here. So pretty much, don't think I'm gonna record rebuilding the engine because this will be my first bottom end rebuild ever. I've already done plenty of top ends. So next time I get a top end rebuild, I will record that for you guys and post it up on the channel. I just wanna make sure that I don't put out any false information. That way if I do blow something up and somebody's going off of my video and they also blow up their bike, I'll feel like it would be my fault. So I'll wait until I mastered that. I've already done about maybe three, four top ends. They're all on four strokes. So two strokes, I should be even better at top ends. And on four stroke and two stroke bottom ends, I've never done one yet. So that'll be, this will be my first ever bottom end. If y'all didn't know, picked this bike up yesterday and yeah, got it for pretty cheap. I don't know if I'll say the price. I wanna wait until I actually sell the bike or until the bike's finished. But I might say it cause I know I'll get a dump load of more views if I do say the price on this thing. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna wash it up with the pressure washer real quick, get this all cleaned up, get some new grips for it. Tires are pretty decent. They didn't wanna go really low on the price because they said they just put fresh tires on there. Which, the rear looks fine. Front has a little bit of dry rotting on it and cracking, but I don't really care. It's an 85 two stroke. Rear shock seems like it's blown. If I just step on it, y'all can see how far the thing goes down. So I might have to rebuild the rear shock. We'll see about that. And yeah, stay tuned. When I get back, the bike should be clean and the engine should be rebuilt and ready to put back into the bike. We also need a clutch perch on this side, new front brake lever, and yeah, that's about it. I'll probably get new plastics and graphics make it look like a new bike, maybe. Not sure yet, so yeah, stay tuned. As you can tell right here, this is where the crankshaft is. And uh, I don't think it's supposed to wobble like that. <laughs> These crank bearings are non-existent. That's why when the bike ran, it made such a loud noise because the crank itself is fine no up and down play these things are toasted <laughs> well add that to the list on this piece of trash Yeah, this is the bearing that was bad. Alright, so this is the bearing that's bad. Mm -hmm. 
This one, super solid. Spins nice and freely. This one, spins really bad. We might just change this one so we don't have to take out the transmission on that one. We'll still see though. So yeah, back on the stand. Here's the transmission. Let's see if we can get all those gears. That's what they look like from the top. Transmission gears, they don't look too rounded off or nothing. That's pretty good. And yeah. See, this one's kind of loose in there because it, it didn't, it didn't, yeah. It didn't hop into the gear that it wanted to be in. So yeah, I'll put you guys back up. All right, so we got the cases split here. Uh, we already did the other side. So it moves nice and freely. No play. Transmission, pretty good. Nothing up with the gears. They're all pretty decent. Uh, here's the, this one. This one's like almost shut. It barely moves. I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's grinding this one right here. It moves, but you can hear there's a whole lot of play in here. So these bearings were shot. We got brand new ones from Hot Rods in here. They move. Just, oh my goodness, that thing's so hot. I could get this right here. I'll show you they move a lot smoother. So yeah. Uh, we got that all out. Everything's ready to be put back together here. We got the clutch, Henson clutch in there. We've got the, that should be the little bolt that goes onto the main crankshaft that connects onto the clutch. This is the Kickstarter. This is the Kickstart idler. This is the Kickstart assembly. Here we have the transmission or gear switcher that is for your power valve. And that's your shift fork, cylinder head, clutch cover, stuff like that. So yeah, everything's good. I think the water pump needs to be replaced because I don't think you're supposed to be able to pull this out. Don't know. It took me 45 minutes to disassemble the whole bottom end, so that wasn't too bad. Now, it's time to put her all back together. And hopefully she starts up and runs real nice. Alrighty guys, so we got the engine back together pretty much, not the top end yet, but all new gaskets in there from Tusk, pretty good stuff. Uh, everything turned out pretty good. I'm about to throw the top end on real quick. I'll probably get a time lapse on that because that should be pretty easy. And then we'll put everything onto the bike right there. So yeah. Alrighty guys, so the bike is back together. Um, everything should be safe and sound. We got the Henson clutch in there, everything. I still need to put new clutch plates in there. And that's coming in the mail. But as of right now, it doesn't have the gas. Turn it on. for some reason i don't really care i'll fix that up later it's probably just an idle screw or something 
But yeah, thanks for watching this episode of $250 RM85 build. Uh, if you'd enjoyed it, I guess hit the like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. About 14% of you guys who watch the videos are on the notification bell, notification squad. I'd like to thank you guys. And yeah, peace.